All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha, Bahashem Rekakwadash, and uh, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do real well and salute. Man, much love to you, sense of brothers who push this truth, man. We can week out, man. Y'all, brothers, stay strong. And uh, as you can see, what's on your, on your screen, man, uh, a path of destruction laid down by Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha, man. All throughout Kentucky, and in particular, the city of uh, what Mayfield, I think. Mayfield, Kentucky, I think that's the name of that damn city. Let me see. Yeah, Mayfield, Kentucky, man. Well, they saying there might be hundreds of people dead in, the, in that rubble, man. You know. So let me hit the script real quick before I continue. This is Nahum one and two. Yahweh is jealous. And the Lord revenge it. The Lord revenge it and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserve it wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord had his way in the whirlwind tornado. The Lord had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuked the sea and make it to dry and dryeth up all the rivers by shine language and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon language. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burnt at his presence, yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? Question mark. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Exactly. And the main point, man, was the Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. The devils will never be acquitted, man, because uh, this city here, Mayfield, Kentucky, had a long history of persecuting Jakes, man. You know, they got a history of race war with Jake and, of course, slavery. But uh, I want to go into this article about that uh, race war they had with Jake out there. You know, because of course they always lie on Jake and say Jake did something to an Edomite woman, and now here come, here come the lynch mob by the thousands, man, to kill people who had nothing to do with raping no damn dirty, dirty, stinky, filthy Edomite woman. You know, now look at your city, look at your future, look at your your, your uh, descendants, Esau. Look at y'all, man. <laughs> the Lord will not at all acquit the wicked, man. And yeah, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> and uh let me let me uh and by the way, this this also happened uh not not as bad as this out here where I'm at in St. Louis, man. And across the river over there in Edwardsville, Edwardsville, Illinois, which Edwardsville, Illinois is right across the river from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh Amazon got hit and the roof got ripped off and at least six people got killed in there, man. So judgment just going out heavy, man. You know, and what I'm going to say this. Hold on. Let's finish skip. It's locking. Hold on. And I'm going say this. When that storm was going on out here, man, I, didn't, I just sent up a quick prayer. I didn't panic, man. I didn't, you know. I sent up a quick prayer and kept doing what I was doing, man. <laughs> you know? I said, if I die, I die, right? If I die, that means the Lord judged me. If I don't, that means the Lord had mercy and he was watching over me, you know, for good. And, um, but I want to get this on um, this article real quick. Let me see. Yeah. Like I said, the Lord will not acquit. The Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. Not like I said, but like the scripture has said. The Lord will not at all acquit the wicked, man. And this is a website called uh, Notable Kentucky African Americans Database. And it's hard to find a lot of detail on this particular story, man. I think on New York Times, they want you to pay to get the full article on this or whatever. But I'm just going to read some of this for y'all, man. I'm just going to read some of this. and um, Let me get one out of Proverbs real quick. Uh, no, nah, you know, I'm just going to I'm just gonna read this article and I'm going to hit a few scriptures. You know, I ain't got much to hit. But uh, before I do, let me get Malachi. I can't make up my mind. Malachi 1 and uh, 4 whereas Edom said who is Edom the so called white race Edom Edom means red 
in the Hebrew is Adawam, which means red. So whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. Exactly. And these devils built. And the Lord tore it all down, man. They're going to try to rebuild that. And guess what? The Lord going to burn it up with them nuclear missiles, man. You know? So they shall build, but the Most High going to throw down. So the Most High threw you out down. Y'all are the border of wicked, wickedness, man. Y'all are the wicked. And the Most High says he will not at all acquit the wicked. So you Edomites that's watching this, y'all got something coming too, man. Way worse than this. So, I'm going to read this article. Race war in Mayfield, Kentucky. It says, a couple days before Christmas, 1896, white citizens of Mayfield, Kentucky, were preparing for an attack in response to a report that up to 250 armed African Americans were seeking revenge for the lynching of Jim Stone and the white capping of African American families. The reports had come from Water Valley and Wingo, Kentucky, and other nearby towns. It says white women and children in Mayfield were ordered off the street by 6 p.m. Homes were barricaded. A dispatch was sent to Fulton, Kentucky, asking for a reinforcement of white men. And guards were posted at the railroad station. And by the way, this warning about Jake rising up in revenge against Esau, this warning was published in the newspaper. <laughs> published in the newspaper, man. You know, so you see how these devils was doing it, man. They was out in the open with it. And it says... When a report arrived stating that African Americans were also arming themselves in Paducah, Kentucky, the fire bell was rung in Mayfield, and the defense was positioned. And the defense was positioned in the public square to await the attack. The reinforcements from Fulton arrived by train a little after midnight. Will Suit, an 18-year-old African American, was also at the train station and was gunned down. Shots were fired at three other African Americans. Hundreds of shots were fired into buildings and into trees. Four homes were burnt down. Uh, I think that dude, Will Suit, was from uh, St. Louis, too. Getting off a train had nothing to do with this shit. And it says, by Christmas Eve, the threat was over and the reinforcements were sent home. A mass meeting was called and a petition signed by more than 100 African Americans asked for peace between the races. Three people had been killed, including Will Suit, who had arrived by train from St. Louis. Yep, he was returning home to spend Christmas with his family in Mayfield. Okay, he went from St. Louis. He was coming from St. Louis back to Mayfield to celebrate Christmas. So he got judged. Red Table Talk is he got judged. Real Trying to celebrate real. some damn Christmas. Family, community. The Red Table belongs to us all. Red Table Talk. Only it's on rocky. Facebook Watch. Yeah, how... Hold on. Damn, man. This phone raggedy is here. Okay. For more, see all Mayfield under arms. Excitement over the Kentucky race war. And when I did go to all Mayfield under arms, excitement over the Kentucky race war. They try to make you pay to get the whole thing. So, read on the whole thing. So, uh, I ain't, I ain't even going to worry about that. But uh, as you can see what these devils was doing, man. You know, right before Christmas, got to kill some niggas. We got to set something up. We got we to gotta, uh, stage, a, uh, stage an attack. Like they always do. They stage things, man. Oh, this country has weapons of mass destruction. Oh, the twin, twin Towers were bombed by a uh, Taliban that flew planes into the... All oh, that shit was staged. Same thing they've been doing to us forever, bro. Making it seem like Jake just taking up arms and coming to kill Edomites. They always lie, man. That's the devil. That's the accuser, man. You know, but all praises to y'all about Shane Shah. Look what he did to Mayfield, Kentucky today. Mayfield, Kentucky today has been leveled to the ground. <laughs> See, the Lord would not at all acquit the wicked, man. And uh, of course, I know some niggas probably died in that, or maybe not. Or maybe not. You know, because a lot of black people got pushed out of that town. But uh, And if Jake did die in there, here I got something for them too. Proverbs 1 and 22. That's what the Most High said, man. Proverbs 1 and 22. It says, uh, this is a book of wisdom. It says, 
How long ye simple ones when ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. So if your ass passed away in this destruction, man, this this, this bosom of destruction, the most high sweep through that bitch, you was one of the ones who hated knowledge. You hated wisdom, man. The Lord judged you for it. Because everybody know about the truth now, so uh, hey, ain't no excuses, man. It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So the most I was mocking. If you were 230, you died up in that shit, and the most I was mocking when your fear came, man. When your fear cometh, that's desolation.